So I just finished um, doing a Twitch stream, pain Twitch stream, Tuesdays and Thursdays on Twitch, 10 a.m. to 1. And now I just realized that I want to get a wet palette. So I made a wet palette before um, using like an old plastic container. One sec. I'm gonna go to one of my favorite um, arts and crafts stores, uh, Blick Art Materials down in Little Italy. It's also next to Bottlecraft, so maybe go check out Bottlecraft and get a drink. Who knows? But um, here's a time lapse. After everyone telling me to get a wet palette, I finally got one. It's not going to make you a better painter, but it is going to help you learn better techniques. So hopefully it works out, uh, it works well, it works better than my old one. And hopefully, maybe I'll show you guys the old one. But next up, uh, I'm going to go check out Bottlecraft, see if they got anything cool in, and I'll show you that now. <laughs> So bottle craft was fun. Didn't find anything I wanted to drink. Well, I mean, there's a lot I wanted to drink, but I didn't find anything in particular. So um, back at home, about to do a quick workout. Probably not gonna post all of it, maybe just the time lapse. So let's see how it goes, do a little workout, then I'll see you guys back inside. <music> Just finished the workout. It was all right. Uh, a little bit harder than what I was expecting. Uh, the wad was uh, super tough. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking it was gonna be that hard. Uh, usually, I get double unders done pretty quickly, and the American kettlebell swings was was uh, light because I only have one weight for the kettlebell. But it was okay. We need to talk about this wet palette. So I picked this up from Blick Art Materials, like you saw. I've actually never used one before, or I never used this one, so I got the Masterson Stay Wet Candy Palette. So it comes with um, the palette itself, the uh, cool looking sponge, uh, I'm guessing this is the palette paper. Uh, I gotta figure out how to use this, I know um, it's a little different than most um, palette paper. Usually I used to use the... Uh, parchment paper or baking paper I forget which one it is or baker's paper so I need to figure out what I need to do thankfully there's also um, some instructions in here but yeah I got one of these because the depth of the, the palette is something I wanted to use because my old one is this I used to use like an old uh, plastic container so yeah and this kind of makes a difference when you're trying to, at least for me, when I'm trying to get my, my brush in and out. Also, the the um, the area for like the paper the sponge is like almost. I'm not sure if the area is almost doubled, but probably almost doubled, because the size is not even the size of the uh, sponge, because the sponge has a fit in here. So, but yeah. Got a Masterson Stay Wet palette. Hopefully it works out. There was this, there was a um, a miniature, um, a miniature Stay, a um, miniature wet palette. I guess that was kickstarted not so long ago. Um, I think it was 
in the UK or, or the EU, but it was so expensive. It was like maybe $40 US, whereas the Masterson's is 10, and I don't plan on bringing that with me everywhere. I'll probably just, just keep it here on the desk. The only downside is that it's actually quite big. So compared to like the regular porcelain, actually, oh, oh, actually this is a S cargo plate that I bought at a at a um, a restaurant supply store. It's kind of a little bigger, so it's gonna be take up a little bit more real estate on the desk, but that should be fine. But yeah, I'm gonna use this. I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, figure out what to do about that um, that paper that they included, and um, we'll go from there. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button below, subscribe if you can, and don't forget to lift heavy and level up.